Okay, so we've had a look at how we can monitor populations, estimate population size, sample them, capture, recapture. So let's finish off the unit now looking at how we can control populations. So these are called biological control agents. So we're basically using uh, another animal to control the population of another. Now, populations naturally change throughout time anyway due to predators. Obviously, the predator eats the prey, so their numbers will change. There could be a disease in the population. Uh, could have some form of competition, say, for food. So some will get outcompeted and will, will die of starvation. It could be some human influence. So it could be something to do with hunting, uh, poaching. Could be loss of habitat. So something like, say, de uh, deforestation and maybe pollution. So populations change naturally anyway. They fluctuate, they go up and down, up and down throughout the year due to the impact, influence of predators, disease, competition for food, hunting and poaching, loss of habitat and pollution. Now, a good example of a typical biological control agent would be a fox. So if you're a farmer and you've got lots of problems with rabbits, if you could introduce a fox onto the land, the fox would actually eat the rabbits. And that would cause a reduction in the rabbit population. Natural. If you were a farmer as well and you had issues with bugs on your crop, you could introduce some ladybirds. And what they do is they kill off the insects on your crop. These little aphids, sometimes called green fly. And then their population would drop as well. So biological control agents, a lot of times, tend to be another animal eating another animal to reduce their numbers. So we use this natural cycle of the predator and also the prey. Now, we could introduce a parasite. So there are some parasitic wasps. And what they can do is they can be released onto into the, the crop and they lay their eggs in these bugs and these mites that infest the crop and they hatch out and they'll kill the actual pest so they're called parasitic wasps so we're using again another organism but this time it's it's a parasite it's it's, it's using the host for its own survival and then finally this is a this is a, a difficult one a little bit more dangerous than these these other two is using a pathogen so we're actually going to be using a particular disease. It could be a bacteria, it could be a virus, it could be a fungus. But what happens is that disease then spreads through the population and will cull that population. So a good example of this is rabbits. There's a disease called myxomatosis um, and that, that targets rabbits and kills rabbits. But the problem is it can pass from the local population out into the wider population of rabbits, therefore infecting those. So it's more difficult to control uh, the pathogen. So biological control agent is where we're using biology. We're living using another living organism to control the population of another. Could be a, a fox killing rabbits. Could be ladybirds eating insects. We could use parasitic wasps. We could use a particular pathogen to cause a disease. But obviously being aware that populations do naturally fluctuate due to various different factors.